catch with yet another DJ Berto Bear Review. I've been a good boy today. I got the yard work done, I got the house work done, and I got my workout on so I can keep putting the beers down and keep my gut off. So, where am I going to go to acquire my reward beer today? I'm going to go north of the border to Bellwood Brewery out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And what beer am I going to have from them? I'm going to have their Roman Candle IPA. This is an IPA, as the name suggests. It's a rotating serving. Clocks in at 6.8% ABV and between 45 and 70 IBUs for the style. For hops in this, they're using Columbus and Citra. For malts, they're using Pale, Pilsner, Crystal, and Rye. That sounds freaking delicious. I like the sounds of that. I wonder if the beer will pan out to how awesome it sounds recipe wise you're saying dj i know what you think guys are thinking dj where did you get this beer how'd you get a beer out of toronto canada when they don't distribute it in the united states well i got it from my good buddy average joe in our extreme hoarders edition beer mail that's right he has enabled me to have said beer to try for you today so this also is one of joe's favorite ipas out of canada so it's time to pop the top on this bad boy get it in the glass actually get this exceedingly fresh beer in the glass and tell you what's up with the Bellwoods Roman Candle IPA. Hell yes. Boom. Big hiss off the top. Plenty of cannon smoke. Obsessively collectible crown, of course. And lovely 500 mil bottle. I like these bottles. They're kind of cool looking. Might have to save them or turn them into a homebrew bottle. You never know what's going to happen around here. We'll keep them in the trophy closet for a little while anyway, or trophy mound. So, let's get an appearance on the Roman Candle. It's a gorgeous dark amber color mildly hazy medium haze level there's lots of caramel notes and like caramel color notes coming through this oranges and brown amber colors we got a one finger head of eggshell colored bubbles slight, just slightly off white when i swirl it yeah we're going to get nice glass lacing on this and we're getting the beginning formations of some alcohol legs but at 6.8 percent abv you expect that but look at that it's a gorgeous looking IPA. Got enough haze on it to interest me anyway because I like them hazy and dirty. But you know what? It's all about aroma and taste too, is it? It looks pretty. Let's see what it's, it's up in the aroma department. Wow, big orange peel zest citrus up in your grill. Really big coming off of that citra. Mango, pine dankness. A little bit of lemon, tangerine, bit of grapefruit. But the dominant aroma in all of that, we got like a two-tier dominant aroma in this beer. We got big citrus zest up in your grill. Then after that's pine dankness, and then it's coming to all those other tropical fruits in there, even with a little bit of papaya in the background. Herbaceous, citrusy, yum. Not a hint of alcohol in the aroma. I'm ready to dive in because I'm right thirsty. Cheers. Thanks a million, Joe. Man. Mm. Wow. Wow. Big, big citrus up in your face. You get a good punch of like bitter citrus zest at the front of your tongue. In the middle, it goes to sort of that like peppery mango taste that citrus throws, at least for my palate anyway. Then the sides of my tongue to the back, I got this like, like piney, dank thing, herbal, herbaceous tones going on. But the dominant flavor in this from front to back is big citrus notes. I'm as it sits on your palate. What was orange and tangerine like in the front, in the back of the palate is more like like that grapefruit coming, like you would get from maybe from like Simcoe sometimes, that like real big white grapefruit taste. Wow, very citrus juicy, but it's still got a like a, a like bitter punch, and the bitter bitterness isn't really lingering because it's got a fairly dry but clean finish to it. Really easy to drink. The carbonation is actually a little more zippy than it appears by the head head formation. I saw a good amount of active bubbles coming up from the beer, but wow, very palate cleansing carbonation, really easy to drink, super smooth, and like I said, the alcohol in this is totally hidden. You can pound a liter of this stuff and might go into a little bit into uh, you know the uh, nether world at 6.8 percent. Well, that's if you've just started drinking and you don't have a stun drinker like I have. Yeah. Anyway, that's another story about uh, substance abuse, isn't it? Uh, and, uh, that's, yeah. Anyway, self-medication. What do we grade a beer like this? You hear I'm kind of digging it. It's got really awesome pronounced flavors. I, and you know what? I guess that spiciness from the rise actually in the back, too. Uh oh I just digressed. You're not surprised. Anyway, Ray Beer gives it a 97. Beer Advocate gives it a 90. So we've got a real high A and an A- minus level. I'm going to give this beer a 95. I'm going to give it an A. It's very well made. It's a very good IPA. 
so far it's the best Canadian IPA or single IPA I've had. I had like two so <laughs> this is the best one i've had so far but joe you're spot on about this man it's a really good beer fresh like this this is like a big up in your grill citrus bomb and it's well defined i'd say it's and the the, the rye spice that's in there too is a really cool twist because that rye spice gives it almost like a clovish sort of like a clove and orange combination you know with the citra hop so have you had this beer? A lot of people haven't. I'm sure a lot of my Canadian brothers have, though. So what do you guys think about it? You know, Chad, Lee, Brad, all you fellas up there, maybe Guy who have had this. I'm not sure else who, who may have had it. But let me know what you think, guys. Um, I'm digging this. Joe was digging it. But, you know, I, if I'm listening to Joe, what does that say about me? Hmm. And anyways, yeah, we won't talk about that either, will we? So, to the next CJ's Brewtube, let's talk about something really important, though, about thinking globally. I'm thinking globally. I'm drinking Canadian beer. I'm supporting my Canadian craft beer brothers. How about you? You know, we got to drink locally. I'm down here in the dungeon. I guess that's local today. You know what? Because that's, those two actions support the craft beer movement and help keep this thing growing and changing and just morphing into more awesomeness like this. And it keeps the quality and the, like, you know, like the, the like taste arms race of this whole craft beer thing keeps growing. So, to the next DJ's Brewtube, thanks again to each and every one of you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you do not have have not done so already and smash that like button because that along with about ooh, maybe two or three of these roman candles puts my happy face on so to the next dj brew tube i got nothing but a bunch of love for you and you know what's coming that's right a big peace out